Hi and welcome back to Laran Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Laran and yes, it's Merchant Day again and this time it's week 95 and as always everyone here is waiting. The Easter theme in Port Jackson is gone and uh, while we're waiting we're gonna take a closer look at the community. Yes, and here we have it. The Wandering Merchant has arrived in Port Jackson week 95. Alright, so let's see the reactions. I see GG. Oh, I see another one saying pass. Not really revealing anything. I see boo and I see ooh. I mean, I see an, a lol <laughs> and a why. Alright, so let's check it out. Alright, so we have the Angelic Katana with the rarity chance 30%, strength 10%, reeling speed 10%. Uh, we have actually the same items as, well, it's the third week in a row now. Uh, Blue Bell Claymore, reeling speed 5%, rarity chance 20%, strength 20%, hook speed 5%. And the Molten Inferno Rod with uh, reeling speed 10%, rarity chance 30%, strength 5%, hook speed 5%. This one is the one that you can also fish in lava. The two baits are rare candy bait, catch a unique pool of fish, works only in Monsters Burrow, price 25 shards. And then we have the $10,000 bills, which has a chance to catch an exotic spy fish, and also adds additional 3% rod strength, 50 shards. But before we go into the showcase of the items, I want to share something. First of all, I want to share a little sneak peek. And then after that I will also go into a direct leak. Something that hasn't been told before and that's going to be very exciting. Uh, first of all, over at Cloud Entertainment's Discord uh, in their sneak peek channel they have a picture of this, what I think is a boat. It does look like a ship. <laughs> but uh, together with this picture they also posted an alien emoji and this cloud uh, thunderstorm rain emoji uh, could be maybe a clue how to get it is it weather related i'm not sure but uh, it could be i know some uh, players are thinking that it could be related to uh, specific weather conditions over at uh, uh, dunes you see pharaoh dunes if it could be weather related fishes that could uh, maybe have an index reward uh, related to that so not sure others i know have been talking about cyber city if it's coming back we had it a long time ago uh, during the metaverse uh, event uh, so if that uh, island is coming back together with an index reward together with it not sure this is all just guesses from uh, different uh, members of the community, so that's, uh, well, it's really exciting. We're gonna see where it ends up. Maybe it's just uh, gonna be, well, maybe not only just, but uh, could be maybe just an immersion item here. Who knows? We will just have to wait and see. But I think uh, the emojis to that post could be a clue what it actually is. Uh, because we have seen similar things in the past when they have uh, uh, gone out with things in a sneak peek. Uh, the other thing, that one is, uh, well, it's actually the correct weather for it. So, uh, it's been said that uh, from sources that it's gonna be a new item next week from the merchant. Yes, it's gonna be a rod. I don't have the graphics of it, uh, but it will be of great help here 
during Void Storm. So I'm actually on my way right now uh, over to the Void Pond. This one, uh, it will be a special rod that will uh, help you actually fish here at this Void Pond. Because if you fish here, this is the... Oh man, there's a fish here. Or an orca. <laughs> I need to take it away. Uh, but if you fish here, uh, you will have apparently... It's a debuff. Uh, so it's... It's really time consuming to actually get and reel fishes here. As you can see. This is the cephalor rod, the best rod in the game. But still, it takes a while to reel this fish. But apparently, uh, this rod is going to be able to remove this debuff. Uh, so it's going to be much, much easier to fish here in this void pond. Which is going to be totally awesome. Uh, probably going to make it uh, worth the time to spend here at the void pond. Uh, so that's going to be a very nice welcome. And uh, that's the leak that I had for this time. And uh, I'm really excited to see what this rod will look like. It's going to be at the merchant apparently. And uh, yeah, the <laughs> void pond disappeared. Uh, but regardless, it's going to be at the merchant. It's been said to be next week. Hopefully it will be done in time. So we will actually have it. Uh, so I can't give any promises. I'm just forwarding uh, what's been said. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, fingers crossed. It will be here next week. Otherwise, we might have to wait for another week. But I do think they will make it in time. All right, so that's that. Now let's go and take a closer look at the showcase of today's or this week's items. And we're going to start with the Angelic Katana. Rarity chance 30%, strength 10%, reeling speed 10%. <laughs> we're going to go into the free camera. And it's actually a very beautiful sword and a rod. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I haven't used it much though, but uh, it's uh, it's a cool one. I think uh, if you throw, uh, let, let's see, the rod was stuck. Uh, if you throw it, you throw the tip of the of this sword or the rod. We're gonna throw it into the dark. As you can see, it has neon textures. Nothing that glows. And the same goes with the rod. So neon textures, very nice, easy to see in the dark. Uh, and uh, under the water, the bluish color turns more into like purple, but it could be also because of the weather right now. But uh, yeah, uh, that's the Angelic Katana. We're gonna continue with the Blue Bell Claymore. Reeling speed 5%, rarity chance 20%, strength 20%, hook speed 5%. We're going to equip it. So I have shown you this <laughs> the two previous weeks also. But uh, yeah, we're going to do it one more time. Uh, looks like this. It's a very highly detailed model. Really cool looking. Some special effects to it. Uh, the vine up here in the top is uh, the bobber. So you throw that one. Uh, we're going to go over in the dark and see what glows and what's uh, not glowing. And I can tell you already because I remember it from last week. It's these three sparkling effects that shows here. Uh, nothing else that glows. We're going to try it also in the water to see what it actually looks like. And it's going to be the part of the wine. So it's not really that visible. Uh, it kind of disappears halfway in the fish. But uh, still, nice looking rod nevertheless. So, yes, that's the Blue Bell Claymore. And then we're going to continue with the Molten Inferno rod. So this is the rod that will make you a be able to fish in lava. Reeling speed 10%, rarity chance 30%, strength 5%, hook speed 5%. What I really love with this rod, well, not only that you can fish in lava, is this bobber. It's the most obvious bobber, I think, in the game. So if we throw it here on the ground, looks like this. Totally awesome. We're going to also, of course, go into the free camera. We can actually go and take a closer look at the bobber itself. Very nice. And this is what the rest of the actual rod looks like. Very, very cool. We're going to go over in the dark and see which parts actually glows. And if we have any uh, things that emit any light. So as you can see, you can't see me here, as always, I would say. <laughs> but uh, you can clearly see the other effects and textures. So clearly neon textures and special effects. Uh, in the water, looks like this. I think uh, it discolors everything a little bit because of this present void storm. 
but it's very very easy to track this bobber. Keep in mind that if many of you go into the volcano, we, you're most likely going to use all the same rods. So even though the bobber is very, very uh, special, everyone is still going to have the same kind of bobber. <laughs> except if you still have the lava rod, of course, because then it's totally different. Alright, so that's the Molten Inferno rod. And jumping into the conclusions for this week, Wandering Merchant week 95. I think it's going to be... <laughs> the third time in a row that when I'm gonna actually choose the Molten Inferno rod, it's pretty simple. Uh, I, I don't think the other rod stand a chance, basically. And as for the Angelic Katana, I mean, it's good. It really is good. I like it. I haven't used it a lot, though. But the fact that you can get uh, similar mythic rods from the silver chest here. I'm gonna go with the Molten Inferno rod this week also. <laughs> so, yes, those were the items from the Wandering Merchant week 95. It's gonna be exciting to see what we actually get next week, what that rod would look like, because that's gonna be very exciting. But regardless, let's go back again. Well, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.